President Trump made good Thursday on a threat to post unfiltered footage from a 60 Minutes interview he taped earlier this week with the anchor Leslie Stahl, an interview that Mr. Trump abruptly cut short, complaining that Ms. Stahl was negative and biased. In posting the 38-minute clip on Facebook, Mr. Trump urged viewers to look at the bias, hatred and rudeness on behalf of 60 Minutes and CBS. But the footage shows Ms. Stahl, a 60 Minutes correspondent since 1991, calmly and firmly asking the president about the coronavirus and other topics as Mr. Trump grows increasingly irritated. At the start of the footage on Facebook, the president suggests that Ms. Stahl was not being fair, before proceeding to complain about her inquiries on the economy and the rising numbers of coronavirus cases in more than 40 states. You brought up a lot of questions that were inappropriately brought up, right from the beginning, Mr. Trump says. Don't you think you should be accountable to the American people? Ms. Stahl replies. The interview is scheduled to air on Sunday's episode of 60 Minutes, which will also feature an interview with Mr. Trump's Democratic opponent, Joseph R. Biden Jr. CBS News called the president's preemption unprecedented and a breach of its agreement with the White House. This will not deter 60 Minutes from providing its full, fair and contextual reporting, which presidents have participated in for decades, the network said in a statement, noting that the White House's recording of the interview had been intended for archival purposes only. Ms. Stahl, a veteran newscaster who had interviewed Mr. Trump two other times since he won the presidency, sounds taken aback after the president stands up and ends the interview prematurely, telling his aides, that's enough. Let's go. In an exchange taped immediately afterward, Ms. Stahl asks Vice President Mike Pence, so what just happened with the president? Leslie, ah, uh, President Trump is a man who speaks his mind, Mr. Pence replies. I think it's one of the great strengths that he's had as president. Stahl's interview with Mr. Pence, also posted online on Thursday by the White House, grows tense as she presses him on why he is evading some of her questions. This was not a rally, this was not just a campaign speech to the public, this was supposed to be an interview, and the same with the president, Ms. Stahl says. And I feel that you both have insulted, 60 Minutes and me by not answering any of our questions. Mr. Pence objects, claiming that he did respond. Before the footage ends, Mr. Pence says, Leslie, I appreciate the speech you just gave, and I've answered your questions and I've talked about what the American people care about. As a tactical matter, Mr. Trump's decision to release the video hours before his final debate with Mr. Biden was curious, given that it could provide insight into how he might answer certain policy questions.